All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Mephakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great most of who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the sincere I came out there pushing the truth across the four corners of earth. And uh, I just wanted to do this lesson uh, because, you know, especially now, uh, before the chaos ensues, I'm saying because it is coming, you know, the thing, the, the events of the scriptures, they have to come to pass. All right, the, 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 the great uproars, all right, which are here now, which are going to continue. All right, you got uh, Russia who, you know, they're moving their troops around to test the resolve of the U.S. All right, you got China and these different other Asian companies, they're testing the resolve of the U.S., they're playing their games too. And, um, uh, one of the things that always happens uh, during the, the collapse of these different empires and stuff is uh, our people get mixed up and lost. All right, but we know in this uh, particular final one for the elect, the scriptures talk about the strangeness of our salvation, man. The Lord is going to have us beamed up. All right, uh, you know, Lord willing, I'll be one of the 144,000. And of course, we have one third of Israel, okay, which is. The family of the prophets, uh, the friends of the prophets, okay? Different people like that. You know, wives, you know, family, different people like that. All right, and that's very important to remember because um, the scriptures say, what well, a man's foe should be them of his own house. All right, and, and a lot of times when you read about the different prophets and when the Lord told them to do things a certain way, you know, when the Lord told them to tell people a certain thing a lot of times people hated it man they didn't want to hear it they didn't understand why it was said like that they they didn't even want to know you know why they were told that right like when when uh moses was speaking with israel and they said look we want to speak to the most high and then <laughs> most high spoke with them and, and then they was like never mind <laughs> So that's, that's what you got to remember. The uh, Lord has us on a special path for a special purpose. And we're not to, um, we're not to uh, um, go, go off of that path. All right. And a lot of times, one thing I noticed um, with all this different stuff, you know, going back years, you know, when brothers were talking about the chip and talking about all these different concepts, you know, people will walk by, you know, what the fuck are you guys talking about? You know, hey, when the Lord speaks, a lot of times, uh, the scriptures say that. He's speaking uh, once, twice, yet man perceived it did not. All right? How many times have we brought out stuff and people looking crazy? What are they talking about? All right? But now these things are right at your door. All these different things we're talking about are right here. And all these different people who listen and they didn't want to hear, you know, they fan their hand or whatever. Guess what? The, the blood is on you now. The blood is off our hands because we told you what the Lord told us to tell you. All right, so it's, it's order and uh, following the will of the Lord and following the scriptures correctly. It's locked, excuse me. is very important. Because right? you still have a lot of Israelites who they, they can't even break down the full scriptures, but they call themselves a prophet. All right? They can't even break down the full understanding of the different prophecies in the Bible. You know, especially the major ones. I understand, you know, maybe if you something minor comes up and, you know, maybe you have to review your notes or you just don't know it. That's something different. But, you know, some of the more major ones, uh, which we're supposed to see, you know, you, you got to know about that. You got to be able to tell your people. All right. All right this is uh, Second Edge 7. And, uh, you know, the Lord's dealing with Edris. But he dealt with Ezra very heavily, man. He told him a lot. And he said, uh, 2 Ezra 7 to 2, And he said unto me, Up, Ezra, and hear the words that I am come to tell thee. And I said, Speak on, my power. Then, he, then said he unto me, The sea is set in a wide place, that it might be deep and great. But put the case, the entrance, were narrow and, and like a river. Who then can go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? There's another thing. A city is built and set up on a broad field and full of good things. 
the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall like as if there were a fire on the left, right hand and on the left of deep water. Alright, so you got perils on each side if you fall off. And only one and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Alright, the scriptures deal with order. It says that this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance. Of course. And uh Salaki, I had to I had to jump off on uh something real quick. Alright, but just jumping back in. Uh, this is Sirach 38 and uh, 18. It said, For of heaviness cometh death, and the heaviness of the heart breaketh strength. And you got to believe that the Lord has prepared all these different places for us, man. You got to believe that. You got to believe it when you read these things. You got to believe that the Lord has these things set up, and then it says, and it reconfirms it over and over again that. You know, you have to go through this fire. My servant is going to go through this fire. I chasten my sons. All these different scriptures that are written to, to reaffirm what you know. All right? Through, through, it, through his precepts, I get understanding. Right? And these things are written all throughout the scriptures, man. All throughout the scriptures, reconfirming each other over and over again. All right? Second measure 7. Let me finish off on this, though. So like it. Let me jump back to this. Because all these things go back to the laws that the Heavenly Father has set up, the things he has set up from the jump, right, and the, the part that we play in our uh, past lives, right, which that's what, outside of the truth, I've never heard anybody address that, okay, that you've been here before. As the scriptures tell you that the many precepts as well that you've been in through for, before and that you played a part you did certain things all right it said second measure seven i'm gonna go to verse nine it said if this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance if he never shall pass the danger set before it how shall he receive this inheritance yeah if you never went through you want to, you know, everybody wants perfection. They want the perfect, perfect. All right, that's what people online show you all day. See how perfect I am? See my perfection? My perfect, great life, five-star life? Which, you know, we know that that shit is all for show. All right, but you have to go through uh, 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 just the, so many trials and tribulations, man. All right, going back to the beginning, that we 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 uh, saw following after those those wicked doctrines, man. The uh, the serpent told Eve, "What you gonna know good and evil?" So now here we are, we're knowing we're knowing and seeing evil, all right? Seeing why the Lord told us all the things He tells us, okay, about the woman, about your family, about you, about the the, the Edomites, about all these different things that are playing out. And all the different things that, that uh, they're going to do. All right. Hey, this is going to be an ugly victory, man. Like you, you ever watch a, a fight between two guys who are who are close, um, close skill level. You know, it's not a pretty, clean fight. You know, knockout round one. You know, it, it's a it's a it's a ugly it's a dog fight, man. This is a dog fight. All right. This is a this is spiritually a dog fight now. The, the beautiful thing is, we don't, you don't even have to throw any punches. All right, now, you know, defend yourself, of course, but you don't even have to throw any punches. But spiritually, this is a dog fight. All right, you got to know, scriptures say, count the cost. You got to know what you're in, man. You got to know that the Lord, if the Lord is supping with you, the Lord is dealing with you. All right, the Lord has it where all these different camps are set up around the earth, which, you know, it might seem small, but you got millions of people watching. Millions of people are watching, and, and, and during that time where all these things show themselves, m millions of people are going to be watching and looking for answers, all right? And we don't know how many people is going to be, you know, part of that third of Israel because it's a lot of Israelites, you know what I'm saying, on, on the planet. It's a lot.
Okay, millions, maybe billions. I I don't even know the real number. I don't even want to say the wrong number, but we know it's a lot. And we know a lot of people are going to wake up when they see, you know, they're going to have to see these things physically play out. They might not necessarily have the same faith. It's like the Lord told the disciples, the servant is not over his master. The servant is not over his master, shit. And, And that goes for all of us, man. The Lord... Is is the, is, the, is the king of kings? You know, Yahweh Shai is the king of kings, and 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 and, and we're called to serve the same way he was called to serve. Right? He had to he had to fulfill a certain role. He had to do certain things. He didn't have a choice. Okay, hey, the Lord has it where 144,000 men, you know, from all these different tribes, are called to be prophets. Guess what? You might say, well, look, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to, you know, I want to quit, you know, be like the rest of these guys who quit and leave or the Lord takes the spirit from you. Guess what? The Lord's going to raise somebody else in your place. All right, put the spirit on them to want to do that. All right, the Lord will replace you, man. That number is a set number. All right, now, I don't know, again, I don't know the one third of Israel, but... We know 144. It's going to be 144,000 prophets who are going to be those elect men uh, as the the uh, foundation for the government of Israel. Hey, another quick scripture. All right, I started it. Uh, now I'm gonna finish it. Uh, Sirach 38 and 18. It says, "For in, of heaviness cometh death, and the heaviness of the heart breaketh strength." And you know, for you to let this stuff be heavy upon you. Hey, the scriptures give you the guideline. They give you the understanding of how this uh, this kingdom was formed. All right, all these different kingdoms, which led up to this wicked kingdom being formed. Okay, the people who rule over it, the method they're going to rule over it, the things that we're going to be subject and, and have to deal with. All these things have been laid out since the beginning. So you can't give too much heaviness over like it's your specific fault. Yeah, you played your part. Yeah, you you sinned. You went off. Repent. Call upon the one true name of the Heavenly Father, the one true name of His Son. All right? But understand this. The Lord had this plan from the jump. All of this plan from the jump. All right? So you got to play your part. You got to play shit. When we sinned in the past, we played our part in the past. That was what... (laughs) We went off. And the scriptures say what? That must first come a falling away. All right, the Lord give it, and he take it away. I just know that, but you are supposed to strive for perfection. Don't get, don't, don't get what I'm saying twisted. All right? But, yeah, the heaviness of the heart break of strength, man, that makes you weak. The scriptures say, whatever you do, do with all thy might. All right, it says, in affliction also sorrow remaineth, and the life of the poor is the curse of the heart. Take no heaviness to heart, drive it away, and remember the last end. And you got to do that, man. You got to be, uh, uh, you know, Paul did say he dies daily, you know. Of course, you have that shed, you know, you have that a little bit of heaviness. But you got to cast that away, man, and, and keep being motivated and keep doing what you're doing to seeing the, the growth, man, hey, just just even, you know, this short five years that I've been in the truth, I, you know, I remember first coming in and you Google some of this stuff, you know, uh, you know, just Google search it, Mark of the Beast, you know, Great Millstone will pop up, but that's it. You know, implants and stuff, you know, a couple of little uh, so-called conspiracy articles will pop up and that's it. It wasn't no real you know, factual stuff on that. You Google, you know, your how was shy. You Google all these different things. Not a lot of stuff will pop up, you know, just a small corner of the internet. Now you Google these things, you got all articles, all this stuff, all these other groups who, uh, you know, they, they uh, all these other little uh, factions and stuff who they take what we say and they, uh, you know, come with their little spin of it, all right? He's, you know, whether they be right wing or whatever. Right, everybody knows what the market, when you say the market of beasts, you know, you go on the internet, damn near everybody knows what that's talking about. It's talking about that chip right, that's, that, that, that they want to put in you. 
All right, don't be, don't take no heaviness to heart, man. Draw that shit away. It said, forget it not, for there is no turning again. Thou shalt not do him good, but hurt thyself. All right, was just talking about uh, the mourning process, you know what I'm saying? You mourning for somebody, but shit, right now, Israel is in a state of mourning, all right? Even if they don't know it. But they know it, best believe they know it. Our women know it, our men know it, they know it. That's why our people, they say that eat, uh, eating, drinking, giving in the marriage. Yeah, they, they want that comfort. All right, they want that comfort. Yeah, that's, why, that's why women especially are giving into marriage, man. But the scriptures say what? She that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. All right, so, hey, for the, for the sisters and sis sisters, they're going to find a man in the Lord, a brother, and they're going to serve him, point blank, period. All right, so Lord willing, it's edifying, man, just a spiritual booster, you know. Don't let this shit get too heavy, man. This shit is crumbling, it's cracking. You can't take it too seriously, man. You got to stay many days. You got to start anew because you already know. You already know it's going to be tribulation. It's going to be trouble. We got to go through the same thing that our master went through, all right, to receive those promises. The scripture says what? We're going to do greater works than the Lord, than the Messiah, you know, for the elect. And that's that's crazy. That's never been seen before. Hey, all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Shimia was shy. Shalom.